MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 24 Net Force of a Wooden Crate All right, let's delve into the question. During a three-second period of time, a 50-kilogram wooden crate slides across the concrete floor at exactly 5 meters per second. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the wooden crate and the concrete floor is 0 0.2. What is the net force of this crate during the three-second period? Is it going to be A, 50 newtons, B, 100 newtons, C, 500 newtons, or D, 0 newtons? I'll give you a moment to think and set up your equation. Definitely press pause if you need to. Okay, so if we use this crate to create a free body diagram, this will elucidate the forces acting on the crate. So the forces that are um, obvious to most that are present in the vertical direction are the normal force of the surface, the concrete surface pushing up on the crate, and of course the gravitational force, which is sometimes called the weight and is represented by the mass of the crate times the acceleration due to gravity, g. Um, but these forces cancel out since the crate is only accelerating in the horizontal direction and it's not sinking into the ground or flying up in the air in the vertical direction. All right. Now let's deal with the forces present in the horizontal direction. The horizontal forces are going to be the force due to kinetic friction pushing um, opposite the direction of the velocity and uh, you can call this an applied force F push, what, whatever is kind of propelling the uh, crate to move at 5 meters per second with a constant velocity. But um, since there is a con constant velocity that doesn't dissipate due to the force of friction, this means that there's no net acceleration because a net acceleration would mean a change in velocity. And according to Newton's second law, uh, the summation of the forces equals mass times acceleration, you need a an acceleration for an overall net force to be present, and because there is no acceleration, it's essentially zero, the net force is going to be zero as well, all right? So overall, the net force is zero newtons, and answer choice D is the correct selection. All right.